so today we're going to add some flavor to plain fries and I'll use one garlic ginger two tomatoes and one onion so begin by washing your two tomatoes after which we're going to chop them up into small cubes As you can see my, my knife is not as sharp but it will do for now. So I decided to add one more tomato just to make the paste that you're going to make thick enough. So after that we're going to chop up our onion. Uh, we'll use half because the, the fries are not too many. I really don't like my garlic and ginger being chopped up so I'm going to use a grater and grate them. So you have to be really careful when you're grating uh, the garlic and the ginger so that you're not hurt because the blades are quite sharp so this will give us a garlic ginger paste and we're good to proceed and cook so we'll use medium to low heat just so that we are able to control the rate at which the food is cooking so we'll add the onions and then since I don't like a lot of oil I used like say a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half of oil so cook the onions till they are brownish add some salt to taste So we'll add in the garlic and ginger paste to cook together with the onions. So let that simmer a bit and then add in the tomatoes. So mix them up so we'll cover it and let it cook for some time then add in the flavors so we'll use beef masala like a teaspoon half a teaspoon of black pepper because if you know me you know I don't like hot food then we'll use half a teaspoon of cumin mix all the spices up and 
towel cover so that uh, it cooks and the spices flavor up so check from time to time that your tomatoes are cooked and we want it to be in a paste like form so mash mash it up kidogo <laughs> then add some water in which we put dry cob so this is me getting more water because what I just put was not enough so add in some water and then let it thicken So this is me checking up with you guys. <laughs> so stir it up till it's thick and your tomatoes are well cooked and then add in your fries. So we'll mix the paste and the fries and make sure that all the fries are covered in the paste because essentially that's why we're making the paste to make the fries more flavorable. So mix it up and cover for the, for the, the spices, the paste and the fries to cook together. And once it's done, we are going to switch off the, the cooker and then add some parsley just for the fl the, the decor <laughs> to be quite honest and then serve so this is the end product some really nice yummy fries <laughs>